Welcome to the limits and continuity of multivariable functions video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we'll be visualizing a function's behavior near the origin by analyzing its graph and the table of values that is produced so we can see what the z value is as we approach the origin. Write your function here in the top left of the screen. Let's try sine of x squared plus y squared divided by x squared plus y squared and click on find values near origin. As you'll see that Maple automatically fills in the table of values and also graphs the function. Visually we can see that the function is pretty much continuous near the origin and the table of values also suggest that. As we approach the origin at x equals 0 and from positive and negative y values, the z value approaches 1. Also, when y equals 0 and we approach the origin from the positive and negative x-axis, the z values also approach 1. Hence, we conclude that the function is continuous at the origin and the z value, the limit as the function approaches the origin is equal to 1. Let's try a different function. Let's change this function to sine of x squared plus y squared to sine of x squared minus y squared. So we only change the numerator and we click on find values near origin and now we get a pretty complicated graph and we can't exactly see if the function is continuous or not at the origin. We can't see what the limit is. It might be somewhere down there in the center which we can't see. So then we turn to the table of values and we can see that as we're approaching the origin at x equals 0 from both the positive and negative y values, z approaches negative 1 and when y equals 0 and we're approaching the origin from the positive and negative x values, z approaches positive 1. And as you can see that obviously positive 1 is not equal to negative 1, and hence the limit does not exist. The function is not continuous at the origin. Thank you for viewing the limits and continuity of multivariable functions maple adoption video tutorial.